most notorious Reuben Carter. Ranked number one by the WBA in October of 1963, white America hadn't seen much of the terror the Black Angel could bring yet, being that only six of his bouts at the time he fought Archer were televised. Earlier in 1962, he'd knock out Florentino Fernandez on his television debut, but hadn't yet knocked out Emil Griffith in the first round. Even though he was stopped by the split decision loss to Joey Archer, Ruben Hurricane Carter wasn't done with boxing just yet. On October the 25th, 1963, in Madison Square Garden, Carter would face Joey Archer, a fleet at foot Irish fighter who had never been knocked down at the time he fought the Hurricane. Joey Archer would go on to fight Sugar Ray Robinson, the greatest fighter in boxing of all time, and beat him. But it was the last bout of Sugar Ray's career. A split decision win over Dick Tiger and also beat Jose Gonzalez in the rematch in 1962. Carter weighing 158 pounds and Archer 161. This would be Carter's 21st bout professional. Archer entered the bout with a record of 36 wins and one loss. Ruben O'Kane Carter's comments from this bout. When I signed for this fight, I knew I would need a pair of Acme rocket shoes that Wiley e. Coyote used to chase the Roadrunner. I had seen Joey fight and he could box. He had an educated left jab and I never seen him dropped. After I chased Joey for 10 rounds and had him on Queer Street in the 10th round from what Archer said in Boxing Illustrated was the hardest punch he ever got hit with. Mark Hanty still scored it for the boxer again. Judge Al Burrow voted me the winner. The other judge had Joey. Giardello refused to ever fight Joey Archer for a title offense in New York and accused him of getting gift decisions over me and Tiger. I respect Joey and have nothing bad to say about him. He had balls and had an old school mindset, jab, great balance and skill. I felt I made the fight by pressing him and out punching him. He had no punch but he had a good snap and timing. Beautiful footwork too but I felt he ran to get the decision and never came close to hurting me once.